Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, we walk the outdoors, hope you're all doing well and in today's video we've got for you the uh, Toyota Alphard camper conversion that we filmed uh, just the other week and it's an absolutely amazing camper conversion so uh, sit yourselves back and enjoy this one So we're looking at uh, Sylvia's Toyota here so let's um, have a quick look around uh, Sylvia will tell us all about it. Okay, it's a Toyota Alphard. Um, I have a built-in gas yeah. sink. Um, I do have a diesel heater with water. Yeah. Random electrical items in there, heater, bit of gas, collapsible sink. Yeah, so you've got a bit of storage there, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a bit of storage. Yeah. And then if I want to cook outside, I can cook in. Outside or inside, yeah. It's extra paper here. This is what I use as my garage. That's what I put all my tools, anything relating to the car, like yeah. tire pump, things like that. Screwdrivers. This lifts up normally, and you normally have a cool box in there, but I'll put my microwave on there. Okay, this is where my electrics are. This is where my batteries. I have a hundred um, lithium battery um, and solar. Um, yeah. This is a little larder cupboard where I put my tins and bits and bobs, but you see it better in it from the inside. It's got a cupboard yeah. there where I can get the knife and forks and that. Um, well, you got loads of room at the back, haven't you? Loads of yeah. storage. Well, I like about it as well. It's got two doors. So in the summer, I do like the electrical door. Yeah. Very nice. Put in a put in a uh, swivel seat in to maximise the space. Yeah. Okay. I've got a fit. That's that's a game changer, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, much more space. Swivel seat. Yeah, I've got the diesel heater blown from the passenger seat. Yeah, so you've got your diesel heater down here. Yeah. And um, single beds. Um, it's a, a proper fixed single bed. Right. Uh, where I put my toilet. I've got a compost toilet. And yeah. my electrical power for running the microwave and the coffee maker. I use this beast oh, here. Yeah. That's yeah. A two and a half thousand watts. That's cool. Right, so it? that runs everything. I have my tablet there so I can watch YouTube or whatever. Yeah. This is my microwave. It's a bit old fashioned, but it's only 700 watts. And it's small. That's the job. I mean, and then I have my coffee maker. Um, I try to um, divide the space. This is my dining area. Right. I just sit on this seat here. I've got a lunar table, which I just put the wood in. And if I want to eat, I just swivel it round. Yeah. And that's yeah. my, my eating or desk area. Okay. okay. I, I tend to leave my cool box on the driver's seat just for easy access. Yeah. Right, um, and I normally just got fairy lights, I find them solar fairy lights, so they work quite well, quite bright. And then I have a little portable bin here, which is empty, it's a little portable bin. And then underneath there is another storage area, which I just put my electric blanket in there. Yeah. And that's where the electric fuse box is, if I want to go electric. Right. Well, it's just a pretty useful space. You've got and spaces for everything, haven't you? Yeah. And the cupboards from the outside can go, come inside, like my garage there. I can get access to my garage from the inside. Right. So they put doors both ends. Yeah. So I block that off. And it's just a normal slat bed. Mattress. Slat. I think pushes underneath there. Yeah. And then from the sand. Oh, you've, you've got it really well planned out. And then, like I say, if you want some more winds, we can just open this door here. In the summer, yeah. the wind circulates. It's really nice to have the two doors, which also gives me access from the side. And it's a Toyota Alphard, isn't it? Yeah. So it's. Um, it's I do automatic. Like it. I do like the way you've got it. So, you see, it's big enough to 
be able to block the back off in it with your sink area and everything and, and use your side doors you know you've, you've, you've you're going to be able to um yeah, I want to maximise the space move when I about. Could walk up and down. So if one's got some oak or whatever, I could walk up and down without moving something out of the way. Yeah. It's important not to move a box there and then that there and it is important just to have free range for everything. Yeah. Um and just gives me that. Well it looks it it looks really nice. As soon as I saw you coming in, I thought, well, that's not her van, that. That's not the van that I videoed a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, so I asked Sophie if it was still be a micro camper, and he says, yeah, it's because it's, yeah. it's still a yeah. micro camper, so that's why I didn't come, because I thought it would be classed as not a micro. Yeah. And um, so now that I know it's classed as a micro now, then I'll be coming to more and more meetings now. Yeah. You know I mean? Because, you know, because I know most people have windows and, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. Videos. But um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the setup. I mean, it gives me a lot of space sitting here. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then having this to cover all the storage. You know what I mean. And having the back as well. I mean, around the other side. Let's see. Yeah. You've got your private number plate as well. Oh. normally use, I just put on, on the sides, these little tubs are really handy, yeah. so I can label them and just put down bits and bobs, so all my solar there, a bit of kitchen with the tools in there, and I have a permanent um, eat, eater on, always plugged in, mm -hmm. so if in the middle of the night I just press a button and it's all powered on, and my eat mat is this, it really keeps you nice and toasty, yeah, just with a mattress, yeah. So warm up my bed, I don't know what that is, coffee. Turn that and then that's all the payment done. And then it's all day. Yeah, that's great, right? Yeah. It's all tidy. So, there's always little nuts and crannies you can get behind the seats. You know, when I put yeah. the bowl of water. Well, you, 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 you use every, every space, don't you? So, of course you do. You, you know what I mean? I so. mean, it's, it's only, what is it, about six inches? Yeah, I can easily get about five of these bottles in behind there. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? So, every little bottle, thing. Don't you? And then I've got solar on the roof. I have 170 watts solar. It's one of the flat ones. Right. Yeah, it's, it looks fabulous. Let's do, let's, do, let's do what I want it to do at the moment. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for uh, letting us film it. And uh, enjoy your adventures. Okay. Cheers, Phil. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I told you it was a good video, didn't I? That was Sylvia's Toyota Alphard, and she's done an absolutely amazing job converting that uh, vehicle. So, don't forget, if you like the content of the uh, channel and you haven't already yet subscribed, do um, click on that subscribe button. Give us a like, it does help the analytics, and uh, it just gives me the incentive to make some more videos for you. So that's about it for uh, today's video. The next one coming up is the Will Walkley Outdoors very first subscriber meetup. So uh, stick around for that one, that coming up um, in the next video. Thanks a lot guys and uh, you take it easy, yeah, as always.